The face on the milk carton. While at lunch on a typical day of school, Janie Johnson's life is upended after she picks up a friend's milk carton and recognizes herself as the girl in a missing person's photo on the back of the carton. The child is identified as Jenny Spring, a girl who was kidnapped from a New Jersey shopping mall when she was three years old. Although Janie refuses to believe that her loving parents could have kidnapped her, she begins having flashbacks that do not fit in with her current life. This conducts Janie to search her home's attic for any information that could shed light on her flashbacks. After finding school papers with the name Hannah Javinson and the dress worn by the girl on the milk carton, Janie confronts her parents. Her parents explain that Hannah is their daughter, and that Janie is Hannah's daughter. According to her parents, Hannah was a confused teen who had joined a cult at a young age and was married off to one of the men in her cult. One day, Hannah showed up at the Johnsons' house with Janie, and left her there before returning to the cult. The Johnsons, fearing the cult might want Janie back, fled the state and changed their name from Javinson to Johnson. Janie, relieved her parents are not kidnappers, concludes that her flashbacks are from her life in the cult before coming to the Johnsons. Janie went to San Francisco and found her biological parents. Despite her relief, Janie struggles to forget the picture on the milk carton and her flashbacks, and begins researching the Jenny Spring kidnapping. Discrepancies between her research and her parents' story leads her to suspect that her parents may have actually kidnapped her. Although she still loves them and wants to forgive them, Janie decides to further investigate the kidnapping. Along with her boyfriend Reeve, Janie goes to New Jersey to find the Spring family. In New Jersey, they discover that the entire family has the same red hair that Janie has, which neither Mr. and Mrs. Johnson or even Hannah has. Unsure of what to do, Janie writes the Spring family a letter, but hesitates to mail it. Finally, Janie asks her parents what to do about the letter, and confronts them with what she has learned. A shocked Mr. and Mrs. Johnson reason that Hannah must have kidnapped Janie, and insist, against Janie's wishes, that they call the Springs. The book ends with Janie calling the New Jersey family.